As Lent begins, church music directors such as myself turn their focus to hymns and songs that reflect the nature of the season. Songs that bring to mind repentance, mercy, and the life and death of Christ. Lent is a time to reflect on spirituality and focus on God's mercy. And to many, it involves fasting, prayer, and perhaps giving to the less fortunate. So for many music directors, it's our task to choose music and lyrics that reflect all these things. The other day I was asked, Fernando, what is your favorite music for Lent or Easter? Obviously, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of songs and musical pieces out there that I love. There are some hymns and songs that just make you ache as you sing them because they're so beautiful and they would be appropriate for the Lenten season. One song, for instance, is Create in Me a Clean Heart, O God. The melody is simple and nice, but the words are amazing. Asking God to renew a right spirit within me. There is another song that comes to mind. I love singing it during the Lenten season, but also sing it all year long. It's called In Christ Alone. It was written in 2002 by Stuart Townend. Stuart grew up as the youngest of four children in a Christian family in West Yorkshire, England, where his father was the vicar of the Church of England. This song was a collaborative effort between Townend and a good friend of his, Keith Getty. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is alive, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, my fear still when striving cease my comforter my all in all here in the love of Christ I stand I love the lyrics to this song this song is actually based on the letter of Paul to the Philippians You'll find the lyrics in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 11. The song relies on scriptural passages from both the Old and the New Testaments. It starts out by saying our hope and strength, this cornerstone, this solid ground, is found in Christ alone. My comforter, my all in all. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is a power of Christ in me From life's first cry to final breath Jesus commands my destiny Fear is an unwanted friend that most of us wrestle with every day. Fear of failure, fear of disappointment, fear of pain, fear of the unknown. Fear follows us everywhere we go, and we cling to it like a life preserver. Yet fear is a topic God is very clear about in the Bible. In Isaiah 41.10, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We are commanded not to live in fear, because we have everything we need in the person of Jesus Christ. That's why he came as a baby. That's why he died. That's why he defeated death, so we wouldn't have to be afraid. Those who are not in Christ think death is the end. But believers know better. Death is only the beginning. His life, death, and resurrection were not in vain. His death sealed our destiny. Whatever comes our way in the earthly life, we can rest in assurance that we serve a just God who cares about even the most mundane parts of our day. I quote Lindsay Williams, a freelance writer who specializes in music. She wrote, I find my strength. I find my hope. 
I find my help in Christ alone. When fear assails, when darkness falls, I find my peace in Christ alone. I give my life, I give my all. I sing my song to Christ alone, the King of kings, the Lord of all. God promises to give us just enough grace for each day, but we must fix our eyes on Jesus and not allow the distractions this world hurls at us to deter us. His love for us is unconditional, His sacrifice unmatched, His grace sufficient. Everything we need for this day is found in Christ alone. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I'll stand. The song finally calls us to give our lives to Jesus. We must put our faith and trust in Him. He will be our strength and hope in times of darkness. Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you.